cheap Amazon cooking sets. Are they worth the buy or not? Let's find out. All right, at the time I bought this, it was actually the cheapest cooking camping set you can buy on Amazon. It was so cheap, I don't think it had an actual brand name, uh, but that's okay. It has all the essentials, it's got pot, pan, uh, fork, spoon, all that good stuff. So let's, get, let's open it up. A little ladle. We got spoon, fork, knife. Ooh, fancy, it's got a spork. So got your utensils. It's got a couple, some of these are just like little bowls to eat out of. And this is the main pot here. It holds 0.75 liters of whatever you want to put in water, mixed soup, ramen noodles, something. You're not cooking a big meal with this, but for someone solo camping, it's definitely plenty. Uh, it's got a little lid, and the lid doesn't fit the frying pan. Here's the frying pan. I mean, this is decent. You're not going to be cooking a big steak in this. But for someone who's just solo camping by themselves, this is actually perfect size. Um, I don't know what this is. Sponge to clean, maybe? I have no idea. Um, little scoop. Let's see. Here's the cooking units. It's not too big, but it's big enough, really. Folds out. Put the legs out there. It's got a starter on the self-starter there and it screws onto one of these uh, butane propane mix cans just like so and that's really that I mean it's it's pretty simple it's a very simple set but it's got all the essentials uh, but the big question is can you cook with it no let's give it a shot here's everything all laid out easier to see I mean, you've got a good amount of stuff here. I think I paid $20 for this. Um, this wasn't included, obviously. I bought that. But I think it was, I don't know, maybe even like $15. I'm not really sure. It was the cheapest one you could buy. So let's get let's get this thing fired up. Let's try to cook something with it. All right, for the first meal, I think we're going to go with some uh, Campbell's Chunky Beef with Country Vegetables. I think that's going to be a good test to see how long it takes this thing to heat up a can of soup. Let's try it out. It's going to be delicious. I can I can already tell. A little cooking unit. This it's got this little knob here. Give that a twist, turn the gas on, and you just give it up. Oh, I think it's going. Oh yeah, I think it's ripping. Look at that. That thing's gonna cook a meal in no time. There we go. Spat down there. Okay. Pour in our can of soup. Soup on there. That is perfect. It's going to be a perfectly cooked can of Campbell's Chunky Beef with Country Vegetable Soup. It's going to be delicious. I can already tell. This, this stove is going to live up to the hype. All the hype. I can already tell. Just like that, less than 10 minutes, our meal is done. She is piping hot. Look at that. Look at that beautiful soup. Mm, mm, mm. Just give us a good taste test. Mm, mm -hmm. Tastes like soup. Very good. Wow, gotta let that cool down. Holy cow. All right, first impression. Was it worth the money? Yeah, I mean, I paid less than $20 for it. Um, did it cook my soup? Absolutely. Is it piping hot? Yeah, burned my tongue. Um, it's definitely worth it for somebody like me who doesn't go camping a lot, but wants to have something, you know, something to cook a meal with if I'm not gonna have like a big fire to cook a, a big meal on. So like this is perfect, you know. If I were going camping on long treks in the woods, you know, if I was really into it going all the time, I'd buy something similar to this, but I'd probably spend a little bit more money to get one with a little bit better quality. And, um, and when I say better quality, um, you get what you pay for. I mean, these pots and pans, are, they're pretty they're pretty flimsy, they're chin, chinsy. And I can feel on the bottom of this, right dead center where the flame comes up from the, to the bottom, 
it burned the soup on the bottom. I, I was stirring it the whole time, but that heat is just centered right there in the middle. So, I mean, that might over time burn right through. I don't know, because this isn't very sturdy stuff. And sturdy, the arms on here, it's not very, it's not a very sturdy um, cooking surface. So if you have your, when I had my soup on there, you kind of got to hold it at the same time when you stir it, because if you don't, it's just going to tip right over. Um, that's probably really all I have for negatives. I mean, can't complain a lot because again, you get what you pay for. I paid under $20. Um, I'm not expecting high quality products here from Amazon, but mm. wow, that's hot. But we'll definitely do it, get the job done in a pinch for someone like me, again, who goes camping once in a while. It's perfect. It comes in a small bag whole package itself fits inside this little thing here so you can throw it in a backpack you can throw it wherever i mean if you had cargo pockets you fit it in your cargo box if you wanted to but yeah would i buy it again yeah i would would i like to have something better in the future yes i would um but for what i paid for it no complaints uh definitely would recommend this i'll put a link in the description below of the one that i bought and if i can still find it it might not even be on there anymore but if i can't find that one i'll find one that's very similar to the same stuff and I'll put that link in the description so you guys can check it out. Well, that's gonna do it, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video, leave a comment. Always appreciated. And as always, I'll see you guys at the next one. Thank you.